Hi, I'm Larry the Butcher. <coughs> Two part episode today. Today we're finishing an episode that I started like 10 or 12 weeks ago. I'm gonna review a beer. <coughs> Second last beer from my brew box. We Heavy from the Highlander Brewing Company. It's a Scottish Ale with oh my god 8% alcohol. Why did I pick this one? <laughs> Happy New Year! I've reviewed the brewery, we've talked about it before when I did their blacksmith smoked porter. So if you want to learn about the brewery, go ahead. It's really cool. It's near North Bay. Um, complex malt profile is very approachable and easy drinking. Notes of burnt sugars and creme brulee. Aaron, you'll like this one. Notes of dark fruits, figs and raisins, noble hop profile with a slight honey granola dry finish. Very well balanced and sustainable ale. Let's crack this baby open. It's dark, it's almost Guinness dark. It smells really sweet. Right? Crumb brulee. I need to get a mug made, a stein that has Larry the Butcher on here, and then better know a craft beer on the other side. I think that'd be cool. I think some of you might want to buy it. Well, it's got a bitterness to it. And the other thing I'm doing is do you remember when I put those steaks away and I started dry aging them in wine? Well, here they are. This is what we've ended up with. It's lost about 40% of its weight. It, it feels pretty incredible. It's got a whiny, musty, it's, uh, when I dry age prime ribs, it gets a mahogany smell, which is just so incredible. Um, this has a, like, a wine cellar smell. And it was in my fridge in the basement that I have all my prosciuttos in, so that could have an effect on it too. And it's dried out a little bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook it in garlic butter. And we're going to have rice, and we're going to have corn. Hi guys. So We Heavy has an IBU of 37, which if you remember the um, smoked porter that I had from this brewery had an IBU of 39. It's actually quite good, I did enjoy it, but it, it fools you. It's got this sweet aroma to it, but when you drink it, it's got a high, it's got an IBU like above like 20. So it kind of fools you a bit, which makes you feel like it's got a higher IBU. I would recommend it. It was good. It's expensive. It's $90 for a 12 pack. Um, the smoked stout, smoked porter that I had was $60 for a 12 pack. But it's craft beer. It's worth it. Now the steaks. The steaks are a different matter. I won't try this again with strip point. They dried out way too much. It's it's got an it's got a ham-like texture to it, which is kind of intriguing. And it chews like ham. But it's beef. Isn't that awesome? So what I did is I put it in garlic butter, full tilt. And then I added some of the wee heavy, just to add some moisture to it, to get moisture into it. It was kind of successful. And I took these out and let them rest. They don't need to rest, it's like ham. And I made gravy, and the gravy looks pretty good. I only have a few minutes left. Um, dinner is almost ready. Um, and today is December 31st, 2016. Yes, there appears to be that a lot of negative happened in 2016, but there was a lot of good too. There's lists all over the place. I'm not even gonna bother because I only have 16 minutes of time left. Thank you so much for watching Larry the Butcher, which started life as Cook Like a Caveman. The name didn't fit what I was doing. That's why I changed it. It's the only reason. And besides, my name's Larry and I'm a butcher. It kind of makes sense. Thank you so much for carrying on tolerating me on your YouTube feed for a year. Thank you so much guys. I wish you the happiest of New Year's. 2017 is going to be pretty freaking awesome.
It won't be awesome if you let it not be awesome. Think about that for a minute. Thank you for watching. Like this episode, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel right about there. Share this on all your favorite social media. Send me an email, Larry at LarryTheButcher.com. I will reply. Comment here on the, on my YouTube channel. I get I, I try to be on within two hours. I try to reply. From everyone here at Larry the Butcher headquarters, we cannot thank you enough. And we will see you again later.